Enhancing a video is very subjective and it's easy to get carried away. I would recommend looking back at the original footage occasionally just to make sure you are actually improving on it. Click on this icon for the video clip you wish to edit. If the clip is too short for this icon to appear, zoom into your project with the scroll mouse until it appears, or just make the clip longer simply to click on it. I will cover various different effects as this tutorial progresses. You double click on one to add it. Once you've chosen all of the ones you'd like, click OK and you go to a more powerful editing screen. From here, you can choose to enable or disable individual effects by ticking this box here, and you can remove them completely by clicking on this Remove icon. You can alter the order of these effects, and it does make a difference. For example, if you had a dark clip, you'd have brightness and contrast before the colour effects, as then the brightness is corrected, so you only have to worry about adjusting the colours with the colour effects. Double click on Colour Curves. This is my particular favourite, as it lets you adjust everything that I will be covering in this video by simply adjusting a line, which seems to work for me. Choose the colours you wish to adjust by choosing an option from the drop down list here. In short, along the bottom is the brightness of the colour before the change, and up the side is how bright it should look afterwards. It starts as a straight line, but as we all know, curves are more exciting. Best of all, it has loads of presets for you to choose from, and it's easy to restore to default if it all goes terribly, terribly wrong. If you dislike colour curves, you can reach the same result by using Brightness and Contrast and Colour Correction, covered later. Double click on Brightness and Contrast. As you can probably tell, I chose this clip because it's the worst case scenario. It's horribly dark, and even though we can lighten it up, there will be telltale artefacts, such as grain and slightly off looking colours. Still, we can at least improve it. I find that with dark clips, by moving the contrast centre to the bottom and by increasing the contrast, you get a wider range of colours. This is one of those topics that really depends on your video footage. It doesn't take long to adjust the sliders and to see what works for you. Double click on Colour Balance. Vegas has a lot of options for correcting colours. In short, it lets you adjust the feel of your clips. You can up the blue and green for a cold, matrix look, or increase the red to make the clip feel warmer. Alternatively, you can go mad and make it look like Instagram. But no, try to resist doing that. You can alter the colours for shadows, midtones, and highlights, and if you're feeling particularly experimental, try the colour corrector tools for even more control. Trial and error is a powerful tool. If you are in any doubt as to whether you've improved it, click on this tab at the top to toggle the effect on and off. In this case, you can see that it was better before. So here we are again, with the original clip on one side and the improved one on the other. Think of the possibilities. <laughs>